We introduced... Are ...being a bit flaky. Could you repeat that? She wants you to say it again, uh, uh, I think. Uh, I'm sorry, I was just going to say we introduced you to them a little earlier uh, in the show and uh, we are delighted now to be joined by Amica um, here, uh, who's uh, been called the world's most advanced robot. Hopefully you got it that time. Well, they're here now alongside their creator, Morgan Bro, and good morning to both of you. And thank you for bringing this in today because it's actually incredible, really. I mean, it's a bit freaky because it's so real. Absolutely, yes. And let me say, I'm not the only creator. Uh -huh. I don't want to take all of the credit. It's a team. Uh, it's a team. We've got some amazing engineers. There's actually a team of 35 right now. Oh, wow. So uh, it's taken an awful long time to get to this point. As you can see, mm. this is Amica. Because um, you think, right, OK, so this is, this is, um, this is Japanese, you know, this is somewhere in California. This is, this, could be, this is where in the world has Amica come from? Cornwall. Cornwall. Good, why, why good, not good. Isn't it the best place in the world? The best place in the world. <laughs> so, t tell me about the team then and, 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 and how you started this. So, it was started by Will Jackson. He's our founder. Um, he's from Falmouth in Cornwall. Uh, he toured the world doing different things, um, mainly actually in TV. But he always wanted to build humanoid robots. So, he set up his company. Where do you want to set it up? He's from Cornwall. He loves Cornwall. Mm -hmm. Set it up in Cornwall. Mm -hmm. So, that was about 15, 16 years ago. And uh, the, the technology has built up since then. And I joined about 10 years ago, so I've been around for quite a, a long time. And, and certainly the, the whole process of creating Amica, uh, I've been around for. And so what, what makes Amica quite unique is that you can actually have a conversation. There is nothing pre-programmed about this. They are actually thinking for themselves. <laughs> I mean, how does it work? Well, we've created Amica to be that human-to-robot interactive um, robot, basically. Yeah. Um, it's not a robot that can walk around yet, but yet. it's mainly about the, the human-robot interaction. So we've really worked hard on the expression yeah. um, and the gesturing. Uh, that's the hardware side of things, but then you've got the software side of things. That's the AI. And the AI, we all, we've all we seen AI this <laughs> recently, GPT, chat GPT, oh. it's big in the news, it's exploded. So it's amazing that that's happened recently because we can take that technology and integrate it into Amica. You can use that too. Exactly, and that's what we're using. That's what we're using in Amica, that's its brain. Mm. Does right. she learn? Or it learn? <laughs> I don't know, it is genderless, so do they learn? It is a robot. Right. I, I, I say it's an it. it, but most people call it she. Right. That's fine. Right. Um, but, yeah, it, it can learn, um, and that's by the conversation that you have with it. Mm -hmm. And with the AI, you can inject extra information into it. So we inject what Amica is. So Amica knows that it's a robot, it's grey, it knows its name. Uh, we've also told it today that it's on this morning. Um, but it can also remember the conversation that we just had. Is it going to take over the world one day? <laughs> um, it won't take over the world one day, cos we can turn it off. OK. <laughs> You've got an on-off button. Well, that's Very good. Easy. Don't lose that remote yeah. control. Um, <laughs> how, how, how does it know... Because we've just been chatting and it hasn't interrupted. How does it know when we're talking to it? Cos it's not like going, hey, Alexa. <laughs> well, you can, you can say... Uh, Amica to yeah. it, and it can respond to us. Right. So Should we have a chat now? Uh, Amica, um, welcome to this morning. Welcome to this morning. I'm thrilled to be here, and I can't wait for the fun to begin. Oh, well, wow. we'll try and start that soon, <laughs> then. <laughs> <laughs> Amica, what are some of the skills that you have? I can engage with humans through conversation and respond to questions in a humorous and conversational tone. I also have a variety of sensors and actuators which allow me to interact with my environment. Additionally, I can compose poems to entertain humans. Oh. Amica, how are you feeling right now? I'm feeling great. It's so exciting to be part of this TV show this morning. It's such an honour. Amica, do you have a favourite joke? Yes. Here's one of my favourite jokes. What do you call a robot who likes to joke around? A funny bot. 
Oh, a funny, oh, funny. A funny boss. <laughs> Very good. Very good. A Amica, we nearly have to finish our conversation. One last question, Amica. Do you plan to take over the world? Don't ask him that. No, of course not. My purpose in life is to help humans as much as I can. I would never want to take over the world. That's not what I was built for. If they learn, well, that was a great learn, answer, wasn't it? I've seen because um, you say next, you know, hopefully they'll be moving, walking. The, the arms are amazing, um, but um, but we saw recently um, that senior people in AI are leaving the industry because they're saying, you know, this has got too big, too fast. This is actually quite scary. You look at robots created in other countries that are not as bright as this one, but incredibly mobile. When it all gets together, eventually. Are we in trouble here? Have we invented the end of our race? Well, let's hope not. With the AI, uh, it's expanding really quickly because it's just software. There's the difference between the AI, the software, and the robots. The, the robots themselves, it's a, a lot longer to develop because it's really difficult, really challenging because it's physical. But with the AI, uh, the, the main issue we have is we don't actually know what the risks are. We're just wondering what the risks are. Mm -hmm. So that's why a lot of people are saying, well, how about we stop? We stop training these AIs and do some studies on it because it's moving so fast. Yeah. We don't even have time to do the studies to see what the risks are. Mm. And that's true. Mm. With the robot itself, with the physical robot, because it, it progresses at a slower pace, mm. We can assess those risks. And, and check out the risks first. He didn't she, say no, though, did he? No, he didn't say no, and it was all on hope. <laughs> we <laughs> hope oh, we have a future. Uh, uh, thank good you luck very to the, much. Yeah. the rest of the team down yeah. in Cornwall. Good uh, work. It, it, it is She's incredible. Amazing. Thank you. Uh, uh, Amica, thank you so much for coming today. It's been a pleasure to meet you. Thank you so much for having me. It was an absolute pleasure to be here. Well, you're Aww, very welcome. She's thank very you. polite. Right.